Welcome to this tutorial on how to search and find case law using Canly, the Open Access Canadian Legal Database. My name is Allison, and I'm a librarian at the Trent University Library and Archives. You can access Canly through a simple Google search or through the Trent Library website's A to Z database list. This is Canley's homepage. I'm going to use Canley to search for a case that was heard in a court of appeal. There are three different search fields at the top of the Canley homepage. The first search field is where you can search in the text of all of the different documents stored in Canley. The document text search is a good option for broad searches that are based on a topic or legal question. The case name search field is a good option if you already know the name, citation, or other identifying information of a specific case. Using my research question or topic, I'll choose some search terms to enter into the field. I'll enter the search terms DNA evidence, identification, and appeal. There are different search operators that you can use to make your search more specific and to find more relevant content. If your search term is more than one word, Put quotation marks around it to search for all of the words together. This is called phrase searching. If your search term can have multiple endings, remove the last letters and put an asterisk. This will broaden your search by retrieving results that contain all of the possible endings of the search term. If I want to search for all documents that contain more than one search term, I'll type the word AND between each term. I'll type AND between DNA evidence AND, identif, AND, appeal. To broaden my search, I can search for synonyms and terms that are related to the search terms that I've already entered. I'll separate these synonyms and related terms with the word OR. I'll add search terms like DNA evidence, OR, DNA data bank, OR, DNA profiling, OR, fingerprinting, OR, DNA analysis. As I read more and more cases and research articles on my topic, I'll find more related terms that I can include in my search. Remember, we want to use phrase searching when a search term has more than one word. I'll add quotation marks to DNA data bank, DNA profiling, and DNA analysis. I also want to make sure I'm searching for multiple endings for some of these search terms. Data bank could be singular or plural, so I'll add an asterisk after the K to search for either ending. In DNA profiling, I'll remove the ending ING and put an asterisk. I'll do the same with fingerprinting, and I'll change DNA analysis by removing DIS and adding an asterisk. Now, These are just some of the search operators that you can use in Canly. Click the question mark at the far right of the search bar to learn about more search operators that you can use. I'll hit enter or click search. What? This search query has produced a lot of results. I'll use the filters to find the results that are the most relevant to my research. I know that I want to find a case rather than legislation or commentary about a case. So I'll click the Cases tab at the top of the results list. I can filter by jurisdiction, by court or tribunal, by date, or by subject. Cases are organized into different subjects. So searching in subjects or with subject headings can also be a good way to find relevant cases. Under jurisdiction, I'll select cases heard at the highest level, the Supreme Court of Canada. Under Courts and Tribunals, I'll select Appeal Courts. I'll click RV Rogers to see this cross-appeal case from 2006 that was heard by the Supreme Court of Canada. If I scroll down, I can find out that this case was an appeal from the Court of Appeal for Ontario. I'll want to find that case document as well later on. I can find important keywords for this case here, which can add to the list of search terms I'll try in my next search. If I look at the blue bars on the side of this case, I can find where other past cases were cited. Clicking on the bar will take me to where the past case is cited in this document. I can click on a case to read it. This is a good way to find more related cases and to understand how these cases set precedent for the resulting decisions in this case, R. V. Rogers. I can find cases directly related to the history of this case by clicking the History tab at the top, such as this case heard in the Court of Appeal for Ontario. The Cited Documents tab will give you a list of all of the legislation and decisions cited in this case. The Treatment tab shows you which cited decisions are most relevant to this case. 
The cases with the most extensive discussion of R.V. Rogers will have one or more blue jalapeno pepper emojis beside them. Some, but not all, cases will also have summaries and commentary available in the Canly Connects tab. If I create a free Canly account or log in to my existing account, I can also save cases to find them again later. I can also save searches. Need more library research help with your projects? You can book a library research help session with a Trent librarian like me. On the library website, click Library Research Help. Click Book a Librarian, then Booking Page. Choose where you want to meet and which librarian you want to meet with. Select your date and time and let us know what project we can help you with. Good luck with your research.